Hi, and a warm welcome to all of you here in uh, Trondheim, Norway. You were supposed to be here, everybody, uh, but we are now standing in the Norwegian National Smart Grid Laboratory here in uh, Trondheim. It's uh, jointly run and owned by NTNU and Sintef. The laboratory that you can see around me here is a system-oriented laboratory with providing state-of-the-art infrastructure for both research development, demonstration, verification and validation of all kinds of smart grid use cases. And our colleagues Salvatore and Santiago will soon explain some of the more detailed aspects of running the experiments here. Thank you. We are going to replicate a distribution, a typical distribution substation, also connected with the distribution system operator, where the control center will have uh, measurements and will be checking how the status of the network. Additionally, we will be having several uh, cyber attacks scenarios on it. We have uh, basically two main equipments that can replicate the SDN network. Uh, we have a switch and we have a server where we can uh, design a virtual network. Additionally, with this uh, equipment, we will replicate the SDN network and the SDN controllers. We can interconnect our facility with external uh, parties or external laboratories. Uh, in this case, uh, we are linking our laboratory, the Margrid Lab, uh, with the Norwegian Cyber Range, that is a laboratory in NTNU Jobbik. What they can perform is uh, to launch a cyber attack into a cyber physical system that we can emulate here. This demo shows a simple low voltage radial distribution grid. This grid is real time simulated and it presents the behavior of a substation and the information for control and monitoring. This control monitoring information is exchanged with the distribution control center. We can see a basic single feeder substation with one transformer and a circuit breaker. The transformer parameters are monitored with an RTU. The status of the breaker is monitored and controlled with an intelligent electronic device, IED. The voltages and currents of the system are sampled with the merging unit. All the systems are communicated in this project with the help of the SDN communication module communication between different electrical components, SDN enabled hybrid switch is used. To control the SDN switch currently, two controllers are deployed, one at the local site and another at the Norwegian cyber range. The setup is also designed to provide packet injection and inspection capabilities at each interface like SCADA to RTU IED or IED to real-time simulator Opal RT and more. These capabilities will use to perform various attacks like eavesdropping, denial of service attack, unsolicited front-end injections. Attacking capabilities are also extended from the Norwegian cyber range with the help of tunneling. The bottom left is a representation of communication between Smart Grid Laboratory at Trondheim and the Norwegian cyber range at the Jovik. Currently, Norwegian cyber range is hosting controller VM and the atto attacker VMs. To make the smart grid SDN router communicating with the controller at Norwegian cyber range, we have to configure it. Let's take the switch in open flow context and enable open flow in global mode, as you can see in bottom right screen. If you see the top right screen, which is showing the open flow debugging message, it shows the communication is going on between the controller and the switch. Ryu controller and the suitable application is running on the top left screen and we can see a lot of traffic there. So Santiago, what is going on in Smart Grid Laboratory at Trondheim? Here at the Smart Grid Laboratory, we can verify the correct operation. Now we will check that our SCADA is working properly. We can verify the correct operation of the circuit breaker. We will control and monitor the circuit breaker. We open the circuit breaker and we close the circuit breaker. 
and we can see that it is correctly monitoring and controlling. Apart from normal grid communication, a virtual tunnel is also established from the Norwegian cyber range to the smart grid lab so that attacking traffic can also be forwarded to the grid simulation. Thank you.